Nicholas Augustado was a traveling salesman for a grocery concern. In his travels, he encountered the internal combustion engine built in Paris by Belgian expatriate Jean-Joseph Etienne Lenoir. In 1860, Lenoir successfully created a double-acting engine that ran on illuminating gas at 4% efficiency. The 18-liter Lenoir engine produced only two horsepower. The Lenoir engine ran on illuminating gas made from coal, which had been developed in Paris by Philip Le Bon. In testing a replica of the Lenoir engine in 1861, Otto became aware of the effects of compression on the fuel charge. In 1862, Otto attempted to produce an engine to improve on the poor efficiency and reliability of the Lenoir engine. He tried to create an engine that would compress the fuel mixture prior to ignition, but failed as that engine would run no more than a few minutes prior to its destruction. Many other engineers were trying to solve the problem with no success. In 1864, Otto and Eugen Langen founded the first internal combustion engine production company, N.A. Otto and Chie, N.A. Otto and Company. Otto and Chie succeeded in creating a successful atmospheric engine that same year. The factory ran out of space and was moved to the town of Deutsch, Germany in 1869, where the company was renamed to Deutsch Gasmotorenfabrik, A.G. the Deutsch Gas Engine Manufacturing Company. In 1872, Gottlieb Daimler was technical director and Wilhelm Maybach was the head of engine design. Daimler was a gunsmith who had worked on the Lenoir engine. By 1876, Otto and Langen succeeded in creating the first internal combustion engine that compressed the fuel mixture prior to combustion for far higher efficiency than any engine created to this time. Daimler and Maybach left their employ at Otto and C and developed the first high-speed Otto engine in 1883. In 1885, they produced the first automobile to be equipped with an auto engine. The Daimler Wright Wagon used a hot tube ignition system and the fuel known as Ligroin to become the world's first vehicle powered by an internal combustion engine. It used a four-stroke engine based on Otto's design. The following year, Carl Benz produced a four-stroke engine automobile that is regarded as the first car. The Atkinson Cycle Engine is a type of single-stroke internal combustion engine invented by James Atkinson in 1882. The Atkinson cycle is designed to provide efficiency at the expense of power density and is used in some modern hybrid electric applications. Due to the unique crankshaft design of the Atkinson, its expansion ratio can differ from its compression ratio, and with a power stroke longer than its compression stroke, the engine can achieve greater thermal efficiency than a traditional piston engine. While Atkinson's original design is no more than a historical curiosity, many modern engines use unconventional valve timing to produce the effect of a shorter compression stroke to longer power stroke, thus realizing the fuel economy improvements the Atkinson cycle can provide. A four-stroke, also four-cycle engine is an internal combustion, IC engine, in which the piston completes four separate strokes while turning the crankshaft, a stroke refers to the full travel of the piston along the cylinder in either direction. The four separate strokes are termed intake, also known as induction or suction. This stroke of the piston begins at top dead center, TDC, and ends at bottom dead center, BDC. In this stroke, the intake valve must be in the open position while the piston pulls an air-fuel mixture into the cylinder by producing a partial vacuum, negative pressure, in the cylinder through its downward motion. Compression. This stroke begins at BDC, or just at the end of the suction stroke, and ends at TDC. In this stroke, the piston compresses the air-fuel mixture in preparation for ignition during the power stroke below. Both the intake and exhaust valves are closed during this stage. Combustion, also known as power or ignition. This is the start of the second revolution of the four-stroke cycle. At this point, the crankshaft has completed a full 360-degree revolution. While the piston is at TDC, the end of the compression stroke, the compressed air-fuel mixture is ignited by a spark plug in a gasoline engine or by heat generated by high-compression diesel engines forcefully returning the piston to BDC. This stroke produces mechanical work from the engine to turn the crankshaft exhaust, also known as outlet. During the exhaust stroke, the piston, once again, returns from BDC to TDC while the exhaust valve is open. 
This action expels the spent air fuel mixture through the exhaust port. The thermodynamic analysis of the actual four-stroke and two-stroke cycles is not a simple task. However, the analysis can be simplified significantly if air standard assumptions are more utilized. The resulting cycle, which closely resembles the actual operating conditions, is the auto.